story to tell tell it no one wants to hear how easy your fucking life was because life ain't easy and nobody I don't believes give a you goddamn what color you are <laughs> how privileged you are life ain't easy and it's getting harder and harder every day mm -hmm. so if you have a story to tell if you come through some trials which you need to share it because you're going to inspire someone you're going to you're going to give somebody the motivation to not give up to not to quit it was in the paper He was stabbed to death. It was the worst way you could do. Taraji P. Henson's ex-boyfriend, Mark Johnson, has been brutally murdered. There's so much hate in the world if someone would do that. She couldn't tell her son that his father was murdered. I couldn't. It wouldn't come out. Yeah. I told him he died in an accident. I was trying to protect him. You know, I didn't want his joy to leave, and it did. Yeah. And I have so much guilt. So Taraji ends up doing exactly what her mother did. Exactly. Taraji was not only trying to protect her son, but she also wanted to give him a better life. That's why she channeled all the pain into building her career, and her hard work was finally paying off. Taraji P. Henson is nominated for an Oscar for her role in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. So that wasn't the only big thing that happened to her that year. She actually met somebody very unexpected. I met Taraji at an HBO party, and uh, you know, we hit it off right away. And I was like, really, 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 really started liking her. I want the one. I want my best friend. Taraji was blindsided by Lamar because she thought she'd found the one, but that was far from the truth. You guys dated for a while. I guess you said it was one of the happiest times of your life. Yeah, she was a, a beautiful, beautiful young lady. What happened to that relationship? I think I met a young lady named Chloe. Lamar Odom and Chloe Kardashian are set to tie the knot on national television. They literally had met within a month. They were engaged, getting married. That's literally a woman's worst nightmare. I'm always taking care of other people. When no one's there for me, that's when the rage comes out because it's like, how dare you? Did Taraji ever talk about Lamar in any of her interviews? No, she never actually speaks about him and it has something to do with her son. I have a son. I don't want them to be like, oh, mom dated this one, he dated that one. I can't do that. If you're not serious, don't even open your mouth. You don't get to I say like I that. dated Taraji P. Henson. Taraji was silently suffering and hiding her pain from the world until she reached her breaking point. I struggle with depression and anxiety, feeling like I don't want to go out in public. Then there will be days where my brain wouldn't stop racing, which would, I would think of the most worst scenarios. I started having thoughts about ending it. The undealt trauma in Taraji's life had finally caught up to her. Being a victim of domestic violence does a doozy on your mental health. And all of my relationships started looking the same, like two broken people trying to pick up the pieces. For the first time, Taraji finally decided to focus on herself. She went to therapy to heal the wounds from her past relationships. And the way we deal with it is be strong. Put on a strong face. Nothing's wrong with you. You don't have mental health. No one's perfect. They're, the perfection is the perfect lie. When my therapist said that, my wings sprout. You can find yourself in any bad situation in life. Guess who it is up to to get out of it? You. You have the power. And while this is happening, this is actually when Lamar and Chloe are starting to have their issues. Lamar was having extramarital affairs. He was indulging in drugs, alcohol, and he was actually found in a brothel, unconscious from a drug overdose. After Lamar's marriage ended, he had a realization and he made a confession. Things ended with Taraji because of being, me being an immature punk. I just wish I would have done things different. But, uh... So basically he realized he fucked up. But it was too late. Taraji had moved on. Taraji owns her journey and she inspires others to do the same. So many people are ashamed of their flaws. I'm not. Um, or my past. Because all of that made me who I am today. Taraji finally realized it's better to be single than in the wrong relationship. Now she's in her 50s, living the best single life along with her son. Yeah.